Hello chaps and ladies, admin, uh, hello chaps and ladies, it's your old mate, SteamFan60, as you know mate, uh, SteamFan61, aka Ryan here, um, all with my, and I've got today, I've got you, I've got today, I've got for you my fifth and final update on the fifth and final prior to the final, fifth and final Fifth and final, uh, fifth and final update for you, which is pro which is of course prior to the final reveal. Fifth up and final, the final update is the pro the final update is the final is obviously prior to the final reveal. Um, as those of you who have been subscribed to me for a while know, but those of you who are relatively new to my channel, I tend to do one last update before one last update on whatever I'm working on before I do the final review if that makes sense um, but without further ado uh, usual but without further ado usual business to usual business that I've been doing throughout this whole build series to, of and that is a huge thank you to huge thank you to Adam and Adam and Adam and Emily to Adam and Edmy Hewton of Airfix and Hobby Hobbies for sending me the the for sending me this uh, for sending me this uh, the RF Centenary gift set for free. Um, although they've not paid me what to say or do. So update. So I I know the lighting's not the great. Lighting's not the best this morning, but as you can probably see, I've now got the Spitfire fully. I got the Spitfire fully painted, and I got the Spitfire fully painted. I got the Spitfire fully painted. It's now all fully. It's now fully painted up and glossed and glossed up, ready for the decals. Um, and glossed up for the decals obviously so the way I did this was obviously I painted the top side in number in Humber Acrylic in Humber Acrylic 29 Dark Earth yeah in Humber, 20, Humber Acrylic 29 Dark Earth Humber Acrylic 29 Dark Earth Humber, Humber Acrylic 29 Dark Earth first and then obviously I then did the underside in in Humbro uh, Humbro acrylic um, beige green uh, in Humbro acrylic bay, number ninety beige green in Humbro in Humbro number ninety beige green and then obviously because this particular one the port side because the underside of the port wing is black I painted that in Humbro thirty three. In Humbrol 33, uh, car, uh, in Humbrol, in Humbrol, um, 33, Humbrol Acrylic 33 matte black. Same with the, obviously the, the, uh, same with the, um, the undercarriage leg as well on that side and the, Oil cooler. And the oil cooler on that side as well. And obviously then I painted the... And then obviously back to the top side I painted the... Obviously I did the camouflage in Humbro. Did the dark green camouflage with Humbro... Uh, Humbro... Uh, Humbro acrylic... acrylic Acrylic, Humber Acrylic matte finish, uh, number thirty, dark green. Number thirty, dark green. Yeah, I did it. Humber 30 dark green, and then um, 
Humbrol 30 dark green um, and then obviously I just painted the the wheel the opposite the other side the upper the opposite the opposite wheel well the opposite wheel leg wheel leg in in beige green as well as the propeller spinner the prop spinner and obviously the propeller tips are propeller tips are were were painted in Humbrol 33 matte black and then obviously painted on the yellow tips the yellow tips and then obviously the only other thing that I and then the only other thing that I did obviously paint on the outer sides of the wheels are the the beige green on the on the the beige green on the outer sections of the wheel of the of, of the wheel of, of both wheels and then obviously the only other final thing did was obviously don't know how well you guys are going to get this obviously because obviously it's a silver silver does not react to being shown in the light but i painted the exhaust stacks in number in in i painted the all stack the exhaust stacks in revel enamel in revel um in revel in meal in revel uh, enamel in the revel in revel or meal which is there which is revels a, a enamel range a paint range uh, number 11 number 90 silver and you can probably see that the there's a bit of number 90 silver just below the most the, the third exhaust stack um, that's pointing downwards a bit Do you know I'm actually in fact there's quite a lot of silver around the exhaust stacks I'm gonna put that down to chipping to be honest I'm putting that down as chipping so sort of Hang on, sorry guys, I'm going to Uh, yeah, sorry about that. My battery was running low. And I needed to get it onto the charger. So, yeah. Um, oh, this is actually better. Uh, so, yeah, the silver, the silver. Obviously, I paint, and then obviously the fill. Uh, the sort of the silver sort of got around the got it got onto the cowlings, the engine cowling. But I'm going to put that down to chipping because if you look at photos of the Spitfire, Spitfires that more or less worked, the Spitfires that saw their action right the way through the back. Through the Battle of Britain, got heavily quite used to got you know got chipping you got chipping quite got used to, used to get quite heavily you got quite chipped quite heavy chipping around the engine cowling area around the engine cowling area so that's so yeah that's what I'm putting that down to and then yeah same Humber of ninety silver on the other side. And then obviously, as you can probably see, it's, it's had a gloss coat. Um, the gloss coat I used was Humbrol. I was Humbrol gloss coat, which is is Humbrol gloss coat, which is an enamel product. Um, so subsequently, so, 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 so subsequently, each coat needs you need to leave each coat for 24 hours to dry. So in terms of to fully cure and harden off, I mean. This has had probably uh, this has probably had more than 24 hours. This has had till. Well, till today to gas off completely um, probably this has had to gas off today to gas off completely and probably and of course the decals I'll be doing the decals next week um, deckling this thing the next week so yeah um, obviously three coats um, three coats three relatively three coats obviously I got obviously I put the top side coat on first the first to put I, the way I do it is I'll put one, I'll put the, I'll put one, I, I give, I give it one coat, one coat on the top side, and then one coat on the underside. First coat, I give it a first top side, first top side coat, first underside coat, second top side coat, 
second underside coat, third and final prior to deckling, top side coat, and then third and final underside coat prior to, prior, prior to deckling. And then obviously I just the only other things I needed to gloss up were the landing gear. Same process for the landing gear legs and the propeller. So yeah, that's the so yeah that's the um so yeah that's the so yeah that's the that's the Spitfire. That's the, the Spitfire's looking chaps and la chaps and ladies. So I'll just and I'll get I'll, I'll just give you I'll just give you a look at I'll just give you this I'll just give you I'll just give you this a uh, I'll just give you this a look I'll just give you a look at this one I'll give you another look at this I'll give you a look at this while I'll I'll, I'll give you a look at this while obviously I describe I'll also tell you guys when you'll get when you'll see the final reveal from me on this well that won't you won't see i'll see you won't see the final reveal on this from me till you won't see the final reveal on this till from me on this till um well you won't see the you will net you'll see the final reveal on this from me until when and not until i've got obviously got the decals i've got the decal the aircraft fully decaled up got all the decals on got the aircraft fully decaled and Fully decalled, um, gloss coated. Uh, put on the, put the gloss coat on. Put on the post deckling, post deckling gloss coat to seal the decals in. And then obviously this has to have, um, to take it. In my experience of using Humbrol, of Humbrol using Humbrol matte coat, you have to give it three gloss. You have to give it three coats to get the um, to get the aircraft back to a flat finish. If that makes sense. So yeah, that's how the Spitfire is looking now, chaps and ladies. And so yeah. So yeah, that's how the Spitfire is looking, chaps and ladies. Um, I'll just give you one last look at the one last look at the underside up. One last up look up at the underside. Yeah. So that's all I've got for the Spitfire now at the moment, I'm afraid, chaps and ladies. Um obviously that's all it that's it for the Spitfire. That's it for this update. Um obviously just obviously like at the beginning of the video, just want to say a huge thank you to Adam Adam, Adam and Emily, Emily, and Adam and Emily Hewton of Airfix and Hobby, Hobbies, effective, respectively, for sending, for sending me, for sending me the RF centenary gift 
out to free although I've not they've not paid me what to say or do although they've not paid me to say or what to say or do so my, my opinions on the kit are strictly my own and I've said that right the way through the build video and I'm pretty sure I said that at the beginning of the video but if not I'm saying it at the end anyway um, I'm so I'm covering that off I'm covering that disclaimer at the end of here at the end of the video if that makes sense and obviously I'm not sure if I say it at the beginning but just in case I didn't I'll say it I'll say it just even though I, pro I probably have said it at the beginning but I'll just say it again and huge thank you to my godfather for getting in touch with Airfix uh, home with Airfix uh, to to obviously to them to obviously for Airfix to recognize my talent and obviously for sending these kits out in order recognizing my talent and sending me these kits out for free um so yeah without further ado so without further ado until the next time until the next video until the next until the final reveal on spitfire thank you for stay s and uh, so until the final reveal on the spitfire stay safe stay safe have fun enjoy mod stay safe be happy have fun and enjoy modeling and until the next uh, so uh, and so stay safe have fun and enjoy modeling thank you for watching this thank you for watching this video and i'll see you guys on the final reveal all right take care and bye 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 chaps bye chaps and ladies bye